Well, the great thing about the LA Auto Show is people just kind of wander in. They were really cool to talk to. I met this guy the first time two years ago at the Rolex 24 Hour. I was just introduced to him as this guy's buying a Mazda team. Cool. I didn't realize he had a backstory because I don't follow baseball. This is C.J. Wilson, who, had, if you're a baseball fan, and everyone said, how do you not know who C.J. Wilson is? Uh, I just met him as a nice car guy, and C.J. now is one of these other hyphenated guys. He is a baseball player. He's a race driver. He's a race team owner. He's a screenwriter. He's a DJ. Photographer. Photographer. He does a lot of stuff, but we like him because he's a car guy, and you got teams racing where, C.J.? Uh, everywhere, really. We have an MX-5 Cup team. You know, that's how I got started actually racing the Mazda MX-5 Cup. And, uh, you know, I felt like it was a really good foray into, into racing for me. I wanted to ride something safe, something that was a building block level, spec series where people weren't going to be cheating, you know. So I felt like that was a really cool car. And then, uh, you know, I bought a team or, you know, got, got a trailer and started the yeah. team. And now we have a Grand Am team as well. So the Grand Am team is everywhere and the MX-5 team is everywhere. And it's kind of like this sort of weird three card money thing trying to figure out where to where to send the diesel trucks every week but uh we have thunder hill coming up so that's what we're really excited about but you also have a long-term vision and when we first sat down and talked about your plan this is where i really i admit i'm a fan of you as a person i'm learning to actually like baseball and follow baseball because i want to know how cj's doing <laughs> but the fact is you've got pretty strong goals for you as a driver and as a team after your baseball career. I mean, you still got a number of years right. to be lefty-lefty throwing strikes out there. That's the idea, you know, the, uh, the baseball thing for me has always been kind of a platform and a springboard, and obviously, baseball is a really cool vehicle, pardon the pun, obviously, with yeah. the auto show, right? But it takes me places. I get to go to the East Coast, the West Coast, I get to travel all over the place, and also it, it gives me financially a little bit of flexibility to go racing and stuff. And so one of the things that I'm looking at doing with my team is actually getting to race in the big races like the 24 Hours of Daytona, the 24 Hours of Le Mans. That, those, are, those are the goals. And obviously, if you're going to be in those, you might as well try to win, right? So that's really where I want to be. Well, a couple of the stories I've heard about CJ is when he was, you had a place out at Motorsports Ranch in Texas. Yeah. It's like 30 minutes on the track, two hours in the data, 30 minutes on the track, two hours of data. If you're going to do it, you got to really take it seriously. You know, as a, starting as an older guy, I didn't really drive on the track until I was about 25 years old. So some of these kids that are, I'm really, I'm, I'm literally jealous of the kids that start in go-karts and they do the Skip yeah. Barber series and whatever. Um, some of the kids I see on TV, I raced against them a couple years ago in the Skip Barber Winter Series. So it's kind of cool uh, to be watching their development. And I root for racers in that sense because I know as a professional athlete how hard it is. So I take it very seriously. I lived at, at the racetrack in 2009. I drove, you know, three or four days a week. I did about 80 or 90 track days that year and burned a lot of tires. But, uh, you know, I learned a lot. And now I feel like I'm confident as both an engineer from setting my car up and as, as a driver that I've, I've come a long way in those, those, you know, a couple years since then. I, I've got a little bit of an observation. Tell me if I'm off base. Having watched you pitch, I mean, I think that you are uniquely, the skill sets to be a successful baseball pitcher. Yeah. You know, you have to focus on several things at once and shut out everything else around you. That's the key. Yeah. And how is that compared to being behind the wheel of a car? Well, the thing that's very similar is the focus going into the race or going into the game. You really need to know what you're up against. You need to know the track. You need to know the field. You need to know the team you're going up against. And so from a scouting perspective, it's very scientific. You know exactly what your car is capable of. Yeah. You know exactly what your pitches are. And you know what you're trying to do to attack them. But what gets really different is the length of focus that you need. If you're doing a long stint in a car like this, a race car, then you're in there for 80 minutes, 90 minutes maybe, and you don't really get that much time off because you might, yeah. it's funny, people say, oh, how fast do you go? But really it's about the feel that you get going through the corners and stuff, and you have to, re you relax during the straights. It's more on the brakes and in the turns where you're, where you're really locked in. And in the same sense, control of the corners of the strike zone control the corners of the track. That's that's really where the, all the money's made, I guess, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Or that, lost. Well, and yeah. actually, you know, I forgot one other hyphen. Mazda dealer. Mazda dealer, yeah. I have a uh, CJ Wilson Mazda in Countryside, Illinois. We're the one of the top, you know, Mazda dealers in the Midwest, and we've won the Chicago Cup for the last couple months of yeah. selling the most cars. So, you know, it's just one thing. I, I know a lot about these cars, a lot more now than I used to, yeah, especially in the, the CX-5. The race team is based out of the dealership? Yeah, we have, some, we have some stuff in Austin as well for the Grand Am side, but then, you know, we do as much as we can. The customers, you go in there and try to sell them an MX-5, yeah. and they're like, 
oh man, you can race this thing? And it's like, yeah, actually all you need to do is get the interior, put a roll cage in, you're ready to go. And that, that's a really cool selling point, having uh, Autobahn Country Club yeah. really close there uh, out in Chicago is, is great for us. And, you know, this, the, you, guys, you guys make it easy on me. The new, the new Kodo design language is great. Uh, we have a lot of really good response on the CX-5, and I'm, I've been excited for the Mazda 6 for a yeah. while now. Well, you well. did your own custom CX-5. Yeah, I lowered it. I, I had the first lowered CX-5 in the country, and you guys had to go, go ahead and go to the next level for SEMA <laughs> and get, like, three of them, and they're all cool. But, you know, it's inspirational for me because I feel that the car is, is, is a cool platform to mod, and I think the 3 is going to be the new 3 that comes out, you know, whenever that comes out. I don't know when it comes out, but he does. Uh, that's going to be a cool platform as well. Well, we were really psyched when you ended up signing with the Anaheim Angels from the standpoint of we wanted you to go wherever you had the best chance to win a World Series, but having you close to Mazda is really, I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities in the future. So uh, we think we're going to be seeing a lot of you around Mazda R&D, and we're probably going to see a lot of Mazda folks coming out to watch you pitch. Hey, you just need, you need tickets, let me know. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll, we'll take you up on that. All right, thanks, Dean.